we'll start. We have a good good amount of people here. Thank you so much. So welcome. I know that you all, I mean, I guess you all know me. Um, you know, whether it be from um, you know, my my website or from Facebook or that I'm your coach. So here's somebody else coming in. I'm in here. Um, my name is Sarah V and I'm calling these beautiful women that are with me is my spirit team. Um, we have now I'm gonna, and, and if you haven't joined me, I, I keep going the wrong, the wrong direction. Um, so we have Nina Vitri and also Julie Fisher and I'm Sarah V as I didn't already say that. So I would love to start this. I am I am all about uh, awareness, and I'd love for you just to you know chat or, or put a comment in the chat, and just kind of check in with yourself now about just one word as how you know how is everybody feeling? You know I am all about really connecting with you know the energy of what we're feeling. You know whether it's an emotion. So if you can put in the chat if you know how to do that. Um, just go down to the little prompting bar at the bottom of your um, thing and you'll see the chat and then you just write in your chat. So I'd love to know, you know, what is one word that um, describes how you're feeling tonight? So I can just kind of get a, a little vibe in, um, you know, how what the collective feeling is right now. Anxious. Jason mm -hmm. McDonald is anxious. Nervous. Okay, awesome. Frustrated, wow, okay. Mary Jane is better, excited, beautiful. Love it. Stuck, okay. We love these people. <laughs> this is perfect. Um, excited and energized, interested. Yay. I like that. Because every emotion that we feel actually has an energy to it. I love that, thank you so much. So my reason for, you know, having this workshop with you is, is not about, you know, showing you my beautiful background with my candles, um, but actually I wanted to come here and do this workshop because I really feel like there is this misunderstanding about manifesting. And I wanted to share with you, you know, kind of my secret formula or my method that has actually worked 100% for me. Um, so we are all basically desiring something, you know, something more in our lives, you know, whether it's more peace, more happiness, more abundance, whatever it is, we are all desiring something more. When we are on this, this path of spiritual awakening, if you will. So again, in the, ch in the chat, now that you all know how to do it, um, what is something that you feel like you are desiring more of? You know, you signed up for this workshop, um, but what, if, what are you desiring more of um, in, this, in this life, this beautiful life that we've all been given? So I'll just, I'll read the, the comments and let me see. I want to push, okay, so, you, so Tracy wants more calm and focus. Beautiful, okay. Continued peace. Yes, I love that. Love that. What yes. else is that? Clarity. Oh, clarity. Okay, clarity. Jennifer said clarity. I have I have contacts in, so I'm trying to get used to them. Because <laughs> otherwise, focus. Yes. Who who doesn't want focus? Oh my God. Clarity. Yeah. So clarity, continued peace. Beautiful. Love it. Uh, love, sex, relations. <laughs> Woo! Who doesn't want that? I love it. Wholeness. I love that. Desiring more fun, ease, laughter, connections, adventure. Wow. Helen. Love that, Helen. Beautiful. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Helen. Yeah. I, I have to like scroll to see who else is here. Um, beautiful. I love it. Uh, desiring more. Fun. Okay. So I said that. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. So I love that. So before we start, I just want to take a moment. Here's somebody else coming in. Excuse me for one second here. But I wanted to take um, take a moment before we kind of get into the the the, the nuts and bolts, if you will, of this um, workshop. And I wanted to take a moment and just kind of pause 
and um, I gotta do the right side. <laughs> but Julie's gonna take us into a into a mini sound healing. And this sound healing is actually the just one, it's just one sound, and it's the sound of om. And I'm sure you all have heard in some way or another the sound of om. And I'll tell you just a little story about why I chose that as, as kind of the opening um, vibration. It's because when I have a lot of energy, I'm a, I'm a Reiki healer, I'm a meditation guide, um, and I am, I'm on a major spiritual awakening. I have been for, for the past five years. And whenever I'm trying to release energy that I have healed, I, I have always, from the time that I started my spiritual awakening, I have always chanted Aum in the morning. And the other day, I was having a moment, and I was needing to just pass some energy through. And I started to chant Aum, and all of a sudden, I just felt this incredible shift of energy. So I'm like, and because I'm always trying to understand things, I looked up what actually Aum is about you know i know it's a beautiful vibration we hear it in yoga at the beginning and end of the beginning of something and the end of something but i actually looked it up and what and how appropriate is it actually represents the union between the mind the body and our spirit and and, and it's also the sound of the universe and so obviously no wonder it works so I'm just going to have, you can close your eyes, you can go let the dog out, you can get something to, but I'd love you just to listen to um, the beautiful vibration of sound. And we're going to learn more about that from Julie in a little while. Um, but I would love for you to listen and you can either close your eyes and chant to yourself, you can chant out loud, you can just sit there and just enjoy this beautiful sound. Um, so she's going to take it. Julie's going to take us into the ohm. So the, the acoustics may not be that great, but I just want you just to, you know, um, chant um three. We always want to do things in threes. So we're just going to sit here in, in, in connection and we're going to just chant um together. So if you're willing, we'll just kind of listen to this beautiful and and the voice of Julie is amazing. So just enjoy this for Three alms. Oh. I don't, I don't know about you, but whenever I hear that alm and I, I listen to in my earphones um, chanting of monks and it is, it's, it's amazing and it, it always makes me feel the energy in my, in, my, in my hands. If you feel like a tingling, it really is about energy that is flowing through you. So, you know, when you think of manifestation, you know, what are some of the when are the, what are some of the things that you have tried? You know, we are all trying to manifest something more, like I said. What is what is and put it in the chat? What is, you know, you've tried, have you tried everything? And you just feel like, you know, nothing is really working. So if you if you just share in the chat if you want, um, you know, you've tried everything what have you tried what steps have you taken to try to manifest what have you done yes writing it down as if we're already done and thinking thanking the universe yes love that yes well, who else and if you don't want to share that's fine um tracy gets the a plus so far um, uh, maybe, maybe you don't even know what the heck I'm talking about. Okay. So Lisa, self-affirmation statements, believing what I want to become, vision boards, beautiful. Yes. 
Yes. And there's, there's so many ways to manifest. And, and I just want to let you know that I tried pretty much everything to manifest. And I just felt like nothing was happening. Uh, what else? Being in um, self-affirmations, like um, reframing negativity into progress, stepping stones, self-affirmation statements. I love all this. Journaling my wants for my future. Nice. Yes. So I feel as if I've tried everything. I, I had tried everything until I, I took these steps. Hold on, there's someone coming in. Okay. So there are actually, so I'm going to be sharing with you um, self Okay, I already read those, writing it down. Here comes some more people. Brenda, Carolyn, come on in. So there are actually um, five, hold on, let me go down here. Oh, wow. I didn't even see all these. I always thought manifesting was a negative. I have now understood that it is positive. Yes. Continue to try to live into it by doing what I want to do, yeah, yeah. even one small step. Um, yeah, here we are. There's Brenda. Hi, Brenda. So the five steps, I know you're on the edge of your seats. Um, you know, I'm kind of calling them five steps to supercharging your manifesting powers. And I'm going to, to give you, you know, I'm going to give you a quick overview of these steps. And then a little bit later on, we're going to go a little bit deeper into each one. So my five steps that have worked unbelievably for me um, is first is clearing. And again, I'm going to be talking a little bit more in depth about this, but clearing, I really believe is one of the most important things that we can do. Clearing, healing, nourishing, filling. And then another really important step is taking inspired action to manifest. So that we're like I said, I'm gonna we're we're gonna go into deep into them deeper. So my spirit team, I kind of like that. It's kind of like the Charlie's Angels Your of spirit, sisters. my soul sisters. Um, we're here to show you how to begin manifesting, and I call it the in the holistic way. Um, and in order to manifest, you know, the mind, the body and the spirit, all three of those things get to be in complete alignment. Um, so my, I brought together my healers that have helped me with my healing and now I get to share them with you. So like I said, you know, the, the Charlie's angels, you know, I'm the mind. I am all about clearing and healing. Um, and then I have nourishing Nina. Um, and then I have the filling of the spirit, which is Julie. And, you know, what, what I've noticed is when, you know, all three of the mind, body and spirit, that's why we did Om. This is what this is all about. You know, if we balanced in one area and not the other, it's really, really difficult to manifest. And I knew that I was so out of balance. This was, I don't know, I started my spiritual awakening journey probably four years ago. I've always been into, you know, spiritual awakening and, um, you know, the, the inner part of who I was. But I knew I was out of balance because I was thinking that if I took, and you can kind of, you know, if, if this resonates with you, but when I, when I knew my mind was out of balance, if I took another course or I followed another guru who has done this, ladies, um, I would be able to manifest. So, you know, with a, with a nod, you know, how many people have believed that, you know, if you, if you took another course, well, I'm going to actually give you a little quiz in a second. So if I took another course or followed yet another guru, I would be able to manifest. Not. Uh, if So I went through a, ver a very, I, I would say a dark period where, you know, my, I knew my body was out of alignment because I was exercising twice a day. I ate, I actually looked kind of good, but, um, but I was eating, you know, vegan food. I was restricting my diet. I wasn't getting enough calories. Because I thought, oh, well, if my body looked perfect, then I could manifest. 
no. And then this was, you know, this is this is a lot to give up, but I knew my spirit wasn't in alignment. I was in, you know, I'd been married for 30 years. I didn't feel alive. I felt stuck in my own environment. And, you know, I was kind of feeling a little off, like a, like a spinning wheel. And I knew that I was trying to manifest from an unhealed heart. You know, granted, my, my, I call him my husband. Um, my husband and I um, are very good friends. Um, and, you know, we are, we're co-parenting, we're uncoupling. So there, there isn't, you know, the anger and the resentment that a lot, a lot of uncoupling, I, I, I hate the word X and I hate the word divorce, but so we uncouple. So I knew that, that I was off. And so I, I, I kept trying to understand, you know, what is, what is going on? So I know you're going to wanted to ask me, you know, what changed? So what happened is, and like I had briefly mentioned, um, that I took inspired action. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I stepped out of my comfort zone and boy, you know, I, my personality is I do everything 120%, you know, whatever I do, I do 120%. So I, my comfort zone was so out. I mean, I was so uncomfortable mm -hmm. and I started working with, um, a healing team and I'll just kind of tell you a little bit, you know, um, it was, this was when I really felt that my manifesting, um, powers were kind of opening. I stepped out of my comfort zone. Um, it was right, right, it was like in February, you know, just, just no, March when COVID just started to, to come into, into existence. And I went out to California thinking, um, you know, I went to California to work with this healing team. It was a secluded, completely secluded retreat in the middle of nowhere. And it was in the middle of the redwoods. Um, and my healing team knew exactly what I needed. And I was so, I mean, that, that's like a whole, a whole nother show. I was so uncomfortable there, but it, but I had nowhere to go. I was in lockdown and, you know, I couldn't go anywhere. I was with this healing team and I knew that because I was stepping out of my comfort zone, you know, it doesn't a comfort zone. It's kind of like an, a, a, an old pair of slippers. They just, they, they, they're, they're hideous, but they feel so comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I went out there, I had this healing team, my healer, that I was working with was probably is he was really scary. He was really tough on me. He wouldn't listen to any of my, yeah, but I don't want to do that. Oh, that's that's too he didn't want to hear it. I just had to do it. So I stepped out of my comfort zone. Um and it was the most um I would say the biggest growth I've ever had in my entire life. I'm 58 years old and it was so uncomfortable. Um, and, you know, I, and we have, we'll have, we're going to have a special opportunity for you, you know, for you actually to take an inspired action during this workshop. So if you can stay to the end, that would be awesome. So here is your little quiz. Okay. So, um, let's share in the chat, which one of these sounds more like you? It's only three choices. So it's, it's not that hard. Um, because a lot of these is what I see in so many people that either I, that I'm, that I help, I guide my, no, I call them my no matter what people. Um, I don't like the word clients. Um, but these three, this is what I hear most often about people. Um, so which one of these, you can put one, two or three in the chat. Um, so do you get closer to where you want to get? Um, and you don't read, you, you just, you kind of get a little closer, but you don't actually reach it. And then you kind of just go back to how you have lived before, you know, how the, the comf wearing those old comfortable slippers, if you will. So go it. So that's number one, you get closer, you don't reach it. And then you just kind of go back to exactly the same way that you have always been living. So that's number one. Number two is that do you believe 
that if you take one more course and read one more self-help book, we will manifest what we want. We we all were giggling I'm like about I'm these. All three. I'm <laughs> all of them. <laughs> yeah, we we've done all three. Um, okay, and then the third one is we think if we think hard enough about what we want, it will just miraculously appear. All three. Oh yeah. So let's see some of those comments. So three, Tracy. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> who, who hasn't done that? Like, okay, you know, because it, there's the secret, there is the Course in Miracles where you just kind of have to like focus in and all of a sudden, and I know that I did that. Um, we've got two, we've got two, three, two. Yes. So two, we will believe if we take one more course, Oh my God. I mean, you should see all the certifications I have. You should see all the people that I've worked with. And I mean, it was great. I worked with one of the top um, business coaches in the country. No, yeah. I mean, it was like, I thought I was, but you know, never, never, never. Re oh, wait, I, I'm on the wrong thing. Never went anywhere. We've got three. We've got one and three. Beautiful. So yeah. So who who doesn't? I think we've all done at least one of those. Um, but I but I but number one I see over and over again because we 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 feel like we get closer. We don't reach it. We get frustrated. We start judging ourselves, and then it's just easier just to go back to where we always have been. Yeah, one and two. Yeah. Ugh. How frustrating is that? So yeah, um, so manifesting, and this is what kind of um, annoys me, I guess, um, is that we think that manifesting is some is about something tangible. You know, in our egos, we want to have something. Oh, something tangible like money or a car or our dream home. And there's there those are beautiful. I mean, I have a beautiful home. I have a nice car, um, and for me, manifesting is about a feeling first. Feeling in a high vibration or frequency. Um, and there used to be a quote that years ago I heard. It was a, a quote by a Wayne Dyer. Um, and it was, your feeling is your magnet. We were, we were, some of us were all in a retreat in Chicago and here jumped this quote, the same quote. And I heard it years ago and I rolled my eyes. I'm like, oh, I don't believe that. But actually it's something that I have followed all through my Wait, spiritual Wait, Sarah, experience. I got to ask you this. Did you yeah. meet Wayne Dwyer? No, no. Oh, it was he's awesome. Quote. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Just yeah. wanted to ask. Okay. okay. Yeah, no problem. No, I didn't. I didn't meet him. But I know that he's he's just amazing he, with this whole feeling. Absolutely. Your feeling is yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So so what is this? So your vibration, the vibration that we are feeling inside of us, that inner frequency, is how we live a magnetic life. This is what I see over and over again. And it actually has shifted for me. The moment. I let go of all those inner limitations, the, the belief that, you know, all those old lies that I would tell myself, which was blocking me every time when I cleared it all out, that was when I started to manifest. Um, but we don't, what does Tracy say? But if you don't feel like you're in a place of high vibration, can you fake it until you make it? I don't. I like environment wise, like an environment. No, I think I think she's saying, you know, if you don't feel the vibration, can you fake it till you make it? I never have oh. believed in that. Um, it, you, you can comment, you know, if you want. What What do you guys think? I I never believe that because faking it isn't feeling it, right? So feeling it, you know, when when we fake it, we're really not feeling it, and you know, and I and I think what I would do is I would, I would want to project, you know, projection of who I was is what I wanted. But what I'm feeling now is I'm feeling what I portray on the outside is what I'm feeling on the inside. So they're kind of big, the energies are very cohesive. If, if that makes sense to you, Tracy. Yeah. 
Yeah. Could I just say, I just, I guess I meant more like I associate high vibrations with being so joyful and so happy. And if you're in a stressful situation, you've got a family member in the hospital, you know, this sort of thing, how do you get to a place of being in a high vibration first? Well, you know, I think it's not, it, I think it's, um, I think it's almost impossible to be in this high vibration all the time. You know, we, 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 I, I think, you know, in, in my case, I know that when I was deep in that darkness, you know, that is a really, really hard place to manifest from. So even if you come up, I know that um, uh, Esther Hicks, you know, talks about the different levels of energy. You know, you don't want to go from, darkness all the way to high vibration that's I, that's impossible but it's it's really just a it's really just a an energetic feeling what do you what do you feel like well, it's always turning to the divine yeah it's yeah because that's where the magic is and that's where mm -hmm. like the, the can you can you hear can everybody hear Tra um tracy can, you, can everybody hear julie that's where the what looks to be impossible becomes possible Right. And like, and that supersedes everything that you're thinking and feeling and you go, you go straight to the highest yeah. that you can. So it's, yeah. Yeah. I think that's the only thing that worked for me. Yes. Yeah. I, I agree with that. Like, I believe that offering it up every time you are in a stressful situation, just offering it up because it's really, here's so my person. Yeah, go ahead. So I suffer from anxiety to the point where some days I couldn't get out of out of bed. And I struggle with that because I felt like I was disappointing myself. And now I think as I I grow older with my anxiety, now I have to tell myself it's a part of who I am and not to let it be a burden on myself. Mm -hmm. I I push myself to get up every day and, and work on me as a person to do what I'm supposed to destined to be in this world. And yeah. it comes and it goes and I never yeah. know when it, when it can happen. Yeah. So I, I think it's not the question of that you have to be in this high vibration. I mean, I've been in a, a lesser than the highest vibration of myself and I've been able to manifest, right? So it, it's not a question of just, you know, faking it, you know, faking it. To, I mean, I, I'm in one of the most difficult times in my life. You know, I'm, I'm newly single. Um, God, that sounds so weird. But, uh, you know, I'm newly single and, you know, I'm on my own. I'm independently, financially independent. I'm, you know, uh, working with one of my leaky roof. And, you know, so I, but I can stay in a very consistent vibration. You know, I, I'm not, sometimes I'm higher than others, but I think that it's not a question of always being, you know, in this, Woohoo! Yay! No, it's just being in flow. I I feel mm -hmm. like for high bliss. vibration is bliss. It's mm -hmm. also flow. When you feel like things are just kind of flowing, does does that help, Tracy? Yeah. Okay. And yeah. I put a question: Is it like joyful contentment? Would you say that that's like that? Well, contentment is a little bit lower than joyful. Like there's different levels of energy. And, you know, when we're in darkness, dark night of the soul, as that's what is one of the steps in spiritual awakening, you know, you, you want to just go from, you know, uh, sadness to contentment, contentment to happy, happy to joyful, joyful to, you know, high vibration, whatever it is. Wait, there was another, there was another really good point here. Hold on. Short. Um, you have a chart for sale. Yeah. So faking it, I love that you said that, Lisa, faking it to me feels, you know, keeps me stuck. But believing I will be able, I will be what I want is difficult and helpful, different and helpful. Yeah, exactly. Um, is it like joyful contentment? Yeah. Contentment is just such a, a, I love being content. You know, you're just happy with mm -hmm. what you have. Um, that makes sense. Thank you, Flo. Yeah. So Flo, Flo, I think is is more of a or even more powerful word than you know high by vi high vibration mm -hmm. um so yeah so i be i really believe that your inner frequency you know i think for me what changed is like i have, was saying to tracy is that that the the feeling that i wanted everybody to believe that i was on the and what i wanted 
but I wasn't feeling it inside. So, so the two energies were just kind of not, not, you know, um, coming together. So once I learned how to heal what was making me stuck, I was able to make those two. Now I feel like they're in, in complete union. Um, so yeah, so now, um, you know, I'm going to share with you a little bit more in depth, um, these five steps to manifesting and living this life of our, our dreams or, um, or, or becoming, you know, that, that magnet. So the first one, of course, is my favorite. And, you know, if you work with me, this is the first step of what I what I teach um, and guide people through is this clearing and healing. And this is this is, like I said, one of the most important aspects of manifesting. And when we have beliefs and limitations, limitations that stop us from manifesting our highest selves, we feel the block. Let me just get this admit that person. Um, you know, we feel the block or the resistance. And this is my work that has changed everything for me. You know, I've cleared out all those stories, all that false identity, all the lies that I used to tell myself that I believed who I was. I cleared them out, reframed them, and now I re-identified um, and connected to this true self of who I am living how I am, you know, who I'm vibrating from now. So it's kind of like, you know, clearing the clutter in our lives, you know, not just emotionally, but actually physically, you know, as, as you see with my, you know, I, I, if you know me, I am all about our environment on the outside as well, because it, it kind of defines what we're feeling inside. So, you know, when we clear out, we also clear our, our environment physically. Um, and, you know, clear, clearing out is about, like I said, about reframing and re-identifying, you know, who we thought we are, because there's a lot of lies and limitations that we actually are holding on to in our DNA. There's been so many studies about, you know, that we as children um, hold on to three generations of unhealed pain and trauma. So you're not only holding on to you know, your parents' unhealed pain and trauma, but actually two generations before that. I'm, I'm actually writing my, my third book. And it's, I, talk, I did so much research about this. And it is really about um, this healing of the energy, because I am a, an energy healer, healing the energy that we have that does not belong to us. So that's, and then, and then actually, and I'm a Reiki healer, so healing is the second, the second step, and that's all about healing, letting go, letting go of all the energy that we've been, that's kind of been trapped in our bodies, to to create that energetic flow and to bring balance back into our lives. And there's a beautiful, let's say, so true. Years ago, I worked on the same, and I found I had 42 irrational beliefs. I wrote them out, cut, cut them up and put them into a jar named progress. I love that. Oh my God. I rewrote them into rational beliefs to transform my belief. Yeah, so I do um, old agreements and new agreements, right? Because we identify with old agreements and that kind of becomes who we are. I love that. Thank you so much for sharing that. Um, so that's one and two. So it, releasing the energy through energy work, through Reiki healing allows us to flow and bring, brings back the balance and promotes your well-being on all levels. So the third step is the nourishing. And, you know, people don't really think about this, but I am a huge believer in this, that the body, you know, our body is, is vital while manifesting. And if the body is not in tune, it can throw the manifesting pro progress, or if you live in Canada, it's progress. Um, Helen, um, it can, it can, it can kind of throw it off and I'm not going to get deeply into, um, the chakra system, but does everybody, you know, put a, put chakra, if you know, no, put yes or no, let's not get too complicated, but do you under, does everybody know here what chakras are so that, you know, it's not a Spanish dance. Okay. No, 
I was, that's actually part of my book is that, you know, I wrote a book about chakras and I'm like, it, it's not a, it's not a Spanish dance that you learn with some, you know, hot Spanish guy with black pants. It's not the chakra yes, dance. Not yet. Not yet. But yes. maybe, maybe we'll, there is we'll hope. <laughs> but chakras. And again, I'm not going to get too in depth about it, but chakras are our energy centers in the body that can actually energetically hold on to pain and trauma in our body. And this energy, again, can be three generations of, of unhealed pain and trauma, like I said before. And when we, when we have unhealed pain, and the energy is stored in these energy centers. And part of healing is healing these energy, these energy centers. So I'll just quickly, quickly view them. I'll see who, who knows. Yes, yes. Yes, not really. Yes, no, yes. Okay, perfect. Okay. So I'll just quickly go. So we have seven energy centers in our body. And they start from, you know, all the way at the base um, near kind of your pubic bone. So it's root. Sacral is um, just below your belly button. Solar plexus, heart, throat, and then crown. And each of these chakras have a color. And the, the, the colors are red, root, sacral, orange, solar plexus, yellow, heart green, throat blue, and crown indigo. Um, so this is why we, we, we brought in Nourishing Nina, because the food that we eat can actually heal, um, and actually we can, we, we can eat foods the color of each chakra in order to heal the chakra. So if, say if you have, which most everybody has, um, our root chakra is usually where we hold all the pain and trauma from past lives. Um, so red is the root chakra and we can um, heal the, the root chakra from eating foods um, that, are, that are red color. So I just wanna just bring in um, Nina because she has, she has helped me um, creating, you know, food. when I was in healing, healing all my energy centers, um, we, she would cook for me and heal my, you know, if I had something that I was trying to heal, it was my root chakra that I was working on. And Nina created her, the, we call it her chakra chef chakra menu. Chef. So I call her my chakra chef. So she's just going to talk a little bit about her, actually her experience with you know why she she created this food um because i really believe that in healing we get to heal ourselves first this is actually the name of my book is heal yourself heal your children meaning children of the world when we learn to heal ourselves that's when you know we when we go through the experience ourselves that's when you get um you know true healing so um, so just tell us about your experience mm -hmm. and how you created it. So let me, let me just back up here. So Nina, um, is from the food network. Um, she, um, has, has a show on the food network channel. Hasn't been released yet because of COVID. Um, but yeah, so mm -hmm. she, um, she is, is helping me and rebranding. Re mm -hmm. And so I'll just kind of let her talk a um, little bit about her experience with, with mm -hmm. food. Um, so I have been a chef for, gosh, I'm being Italian family. I feel like I've been a chef since I was five years old, but I've been in the restaurant industry for almost a solid 12 years and working in the restaurant industry is, it's very difficult on your body. It's a stressful, stressful environment. The food that I was, the countless unnecessary food that I was feeding my body thinking that, okay, I should just eat a piece of bread or I should taste this ravioli to see if it's good. But I was sluggish, I was, I was run down. And it really wasn't until, of course I would go on a, on a diet. I could do this a few days and do this just to keep my, my body um, where, where it should be and not you know, eating so much two weeks at a time and then eating healthy. I was, it was bad. I was, was not taking care of my body. So it wasn't until four weeks ago, I got out of my comfort zone and I went to Florida 
I was in a condo for a week. I went to the grocery store and I went down all the chakras. I mean, that was like the best week of my life. Um, I was able to not only create menus, but I was able to fix things like overnight. Mm -hmm. And I was by myself. I hate being by myself. Mm. <laughs> I hate yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. So my favorite was the anxiety. I was able to, I was able to not fix it, but I was able to be content. I was able to be comfortable. Granted that I was in Florida, but I was by myself. Mm -hmm. And I was taking care of my body. I was sleeping better. The energy that I had, but also the food and the meals that I prepared for myself were, all, I mean, I know the calorie intake is important for, for everyone to maintain or to help you lose weight, whatever you're going through. But I wasn't eating that. I wasn't eating so much food. I was writing... I was eating the proper things. Mm, yeah. And the clarity, the biggest thing for me, I was sharp. I was creative. I was right. I, I was writing again. I was doing things that I should have been doing a while ago. But the most important thing is I had Julie. I was doing a sound healing right before I left. I had Sarah to be there to guide me when I if I were gonna freak out after I got off the mm -hmm. plane. But Sarah had her sound healing team and now I have mine. Yeah. So, so, so just to kind of recap a little bit is like, she has created recipes now. I mean, this is kind of where she's rebranding. Um, and each, each of her recipes, um, you know, breakfast, lunch, and dinner are all thought out. And each one has some sort of chakra healing, um, power, if you will, in, in each of them. And, you know, this is, it's just, it's just amazing what does happen. And I've, I've known about this um, for a while because some of my other retreats, if you've been to them, um, and, um, so, sorry, I just lost my, my train of thought. So, yeah, so, so some of my other retreats that I've, that I've um, offered um, have cleared, I mean, we've, we've used all this where we, where we, um, we heal our, our solar plexus, our, our um, root chakra, which, again, so many of us hold onto our pain. So we've done this. I've done this before. I've, I've then, and she's, she created all these, um, these menus um, for me. And um, this is something that, you know, uh, you know we, we all get to do. So in the chat, I would love to know, you know, what would you like more of more sleep or better sleep more energy or mental clarity this is a or, really good one. what do you what do you try to eat all the chocolate colors in a day oh no so what 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 you actually want to do oh let me just go to the next one in. people are still coming in um so do you eat one of the questions was do you try to eat the color of your chakras in a day and um no so not we don't we don't want to eat oh my god we'd be eating so much food um you know so basically what the work is so i kind of assess you know what chakra is kind of you know the most the the, the chakra that needs to be healed the most and then nina would makes these recipes an amazing food that actually have the color you know and you do it for two weeks you know again we, we all want to do this so quickly um, and, um, it, it has to be done in a very slow manner. You know, I know it, it took me, you know, two weeks to eat just the same color of, for my root chakra. Um, does that make sense? So a cookbook, I mean, that's fantastic, Nina. I hope you write a book about the concept of food. and Yes. 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 Believe it or it. not, that's kind of what yeah. we're, what we're kind of, because it's, it's so important. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of in your, in the works. So what would everybody like more of? You know, what is something that you would love to have? More more um, energy, better sleeping, um, more energy, yeah. What else, yeah. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't want that? I, I sleep like a log, as you guys know, I go to bed really early. <laughs> um, okay, 
So the fourth step is the spilling, you know, filling our spirit, more energy and good sleep. Yeah. Um, you know, this is all about high vibration. And Julie is going to talk about, about sound. And again, we don't think that sound really has, you know, anything to do with healing, but it actually does. Because and she's going to explain sound healing is all about the vibration of love. And love is the highest vibration that you can, you know, or the highest frequently, frequency that you can vibrate, vibrate from. And Julie Fisher is actually a sound practitioner. And she is part of this manifesting team. And she's bringing, you know, her expertise to this workshop. So she's just going to play while she kind of um, teaches a little bit about, you know, about this. She's just going to kind of play the, this is, we had, we had to use this, um, what is it called? Chime, chime? It's a gold practitioner. It's a gold practitioner bowl, but she has these beautiful um, other bowls that she's used um, for me. So she's just going to play a little bit and just kind of telling you a little bit about sound. I know I don't want you all to get cross-eyed with all this information because I know it's a lot. But go ahead. Well, uh, yeah, why don't we begin by taking a nice long breath, deep inhale, long exhale together. Yeah. And just settle into your body. And notice how you're feeling. Are you are you sitting comfortably? Are there any adjustments you need to make in order to become more comfortable? Sound is wonderful because it is the expression of love. And it takes us straight to the peace of who we are connects us to the love that is all around us always. And um, it's one, there are all sorts of science, proven scientific benefits. It helps switch your nervous system from fight or flight into rest and digest pretty quickly. Um, it slows down your brain waves into more relaxed meditative state. It can help improve, help you get better sleep, improve clarity, creativity. And then also, because it is directly connected with love, with spirit, it can show you inspired action that you can take. Quite magical, mm -hmm. actually. And it, it continues to unfold even after you receive it. So mm -hmm. we're going to do a short, yeah, I'll take another nice deep breath. Also, um, I don't know whether are your elixirs in, in the sound box in remember, remember what, what was the thing that you oh yeah, yeah. Uh, so um, I've done recordings for Urban Float and um, but they're available on DreamPod, which is the manufacturer of the float pods themselves. So if um, you're floating in yeah. one of those salt baths, it's her it can, sound baths can use in my there. Voice in there. Yeah, pretty amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. So yeah, so that's so that's this is my team. It's so awesome. So the fifth and final step is actually one of the most important things, other than clearing. I mean, they're all important, but the inspired action step. If we don't take inspired, you know, action when we say that we're going to do something, 
you know, it, going from, you know, that 5D spirit to the 3D dimension, you know, the, the, the action that we take is actually the bridge to make it come to, into form. You know, how many people do you say, oh, you know, I want to do this, and then they never take the action, and they stay exactly where they are. And remembering my story about where I took um, inspired action, my spirit, because I was so connected from doing meditation, my spirit was so calling me to change, even though everyone was telling me not to, it was so uncomfortable, and that is what changed everything. I can't say it even more, you know, elaborately, but taking spirit, uh, um, inspired action is, is, is it. Um, so I would like to know in the chat, um, yes, impeccable to my word. Uh, can Julie repeat what she said about sound moving from fight or flight into rest? Yeah. yeah. So that's you, Mary Tracy. Jane. Oh, no, that's was, Mary Jane. Oh no, it was Tracy. Tracy. Sorry. Thank you, Tracy, for slowing me down. So, so sound works through the phenomenon called entrainment, and that is when your brain waves sync up to an external stimulus. And because sound is a very um, high vibration, it helps. Um, so through that phenomenon of entrainment, it your brain follows that smooth, steady sound, and it actually like starts to level out. It starts to follow that slower. Calm or vibration. Yeah. Yeah. So, and this works in different ways. Like, you know, when you go into, for example, you go into a, a store and they're playing um, heavy rock music and you just can't help bopping along. And then you go into the next store and it's it's um, classical and you're like, oh, no, is that sort of this show? So, that's an example of entrainment, right? Mm -hmm. So the sound, because it's this high vibration, it's the vibration of love, it's smooth. And so it usually takes about five to 10 minutes for your brain waves to actually shift from the, the more the shorter, more active brain waves into, which is beta, mm -hmm. into the, the longer, smoother meditative states of alpha and beta. Mm -hmm. Does that answer, answer your yes, question? And so, and so like that helps. So your, your nervous system runs on two, two um, Two gears, right? You've got the sympathetic, which is fight or flight, and you have parasympathetic, which is rest and digest. Right. So through that phenomenon of entrainment, you can it helps switch the brain waves and that that parasympathetic sympathetic response. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, I love that. Does that help? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Good. Awesome. <laughs> I know this is a lot of information. So I would like, you know, as you know, five. The fifth step is the the really, really important. It changes everything. Um, so I would like to know, you know, in the chat, what is the next action that you will commit to in your own personal manifestation? You know, it could be, I don't know. And don't say you're going to read another self-help book because then we know we're, we're not getting through to you. <laughs> so what is, tell me just, you know, and even if it's just because we're going to go into a little visualization really quick. I hope everybody's okay. I know I said an hour, but I always over. So is everybody okay if, if it goes over an hour? Yeah? Awesome. Okay. And we'll, we'll be very entertaining between now and the end. Um, so talk to me, trying to let go of burdens and connect, connect more to the divine. Yes. Mm -hmm. Love that. Yes. Because that's where everything is. This is where this high vibration. I mean, oh my God. Since I've been in an ohm, remembering it's the it's the union of mind, body, and spirit and connection to universe. When I started to, to take inspired action and do that every single day and, and chant ohm, that is I, I felt completely connected to the universe. So yeah, anybody else? I don't see any more inspired actions here. What's going on? Attuned to my own intuition on choices for my higher good. Yes, love it. So you can keep those rolling in, but even if you don't put them in the chat, I'd like for you, if you're willing, to just kind of have what a, an inspired action, a thought in your in your mind. Let's see, if there's. Um, um, I have started to do daily meditation, 
but the biggest challenge the last few weeks with the added meditation is accepting myself even when I miss the mark. Yes. It, it's all about, you know, not judging when we don't, you know, miss the mark. And sometimes it's because we are overstepping our, our um, inspired action, you know, because we kind of overwhelm. What? Oh, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, Leslie. She can look at my Oh, okay. Let me let me let me hear you, Chris, and let me unmute you. <laughs> okay, there you go. You can unmute now. I feel go. like I've been in voice prison. Voice prison. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know me. I'm not one is short on words, so I'm like Ooh, over here. So what were you doing? What was your action? No, no, it's just. I did my daily new daily mantra of being the the goddess of the, the goddess God. matriarch of my family standing in firm in my column of light <laughs> yeah so, yeah. yeah that yeah. changes everything so so what Huge. We're doing, yeah I know I love it so let me let me I'm gonna mute you back up again sorry I'm gonna put you back in jail so what I'd like you to do now, <laughs> it's kind of like a power thing. It's like I can I can mute everybody. <laughs> so we're going. I'm going to take you into a little in visualization. Um, and what this does, it's I, and I know if it's, uh, some of my no matter what women and men. Um, you know we do this all the time. You actually step into the future version of what you want. You know, what is that inspired action that you will take? Um, and I'm just gonna, you know, if everybody can just kind of gently close their eyes or, you know, put a soft gaze or whatever, whatever, um, in, and you're gonna hear Julie playing the, a little bit of the, the bowl. So just kind of <clears throat> gently close your eyes and bring your focus into your breath. Think of, you know, allow your, um, you know, this, this inspired action that you're going to take, whatever it is. And I want you to visualize the future version of you. Just, just visualize him or her seeing, you know, connecting with your highest self. Highest self will take you into that inspired action. Because when we can vision ourselves of, as if we are already doing it, it shifts our inner vibration and then we actually become it. So seeing yourself celebrating your inspired action. Seeing yourself, seeing that that woman, that man, as if you've already done this. And this will guide you into this feeling of that energy. Remembering that the energy we feel inside is how we manifest. To see her see him be that we get to be and we get to do and then we have it we manifest it so I affirm that as we come back into the present moment you will be that energy you will be her you will be him and then that's when we attract it, we take it. Beautiful. So just taking a deep breath as we come back out. And has anybody's energy kind of shifted a little bit? Do you feel, even just a, the slightest <coughs> bit of change. And that's, that's, that's a beautiful thing. So, Let's see, I have started, okay, let me just, um, yes, it's more present, yes. Um, um, 
Palmer. And yes, yeah, so and not to challenge Julie, but there are four sounds, delta, theta, alpha, beta, and gamma. Yes, yeah, she's correct. That's While right. I have been with Julie, I'm curious the thought. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're correct. You're, Mary you're yeah, correct. Mary. There's delta that's sleep, and then there's gamma that's like the hyper or whatever. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <clears throat> absolutely. I was so, just pertaining to, I was just talking to sound. Yeah, like, yeah, sound absolutely. Sound tends to work best within the alpha, or the beta, the alpha, and beta. Right. That's another show. <laughs> um, so I love that, Lisa, completely different from an hour ago, calmer and more peaceful. Yeah, we're not, I mean, I mean, I know that we have done things that are different, but, you know, we're all the same people. It's basically how, you know, what we're thinking. Um, so I love that. Um, so, um, so, you know, if you're feeling, you know, more activated, more inspired, more peaceful, more calm, because in a calm and peaceful state, we're able to be more clear, we're able to be more creative, we're able to be more in tune with love, which is, again is that higher vibration. So if you're feeling activated and inspired, you know, this is, this is only the beginning. And we are actually, if you haven't heard, we are actually taking this manifesting experience, as we say, into the vortex. Um, we're actually offering, you know, all of us in a three-day immersion in one of the most energetic or energy-centered places in, in the world. And, you know, this vortex is in Sedona, Arizona. I don't know if anybody has been there. But the reason why we chose <coughs> Sedona is because, or actually, you know, does everybody know what a vortex is? You know, you can kind of raise your hand or yeah so and i'll just kind of explain it a little bit um so it's what a vortex is there's there's many different vortexes in the world but it's actually a special spot in the earth where the energy is is kind of entering the earth um and you know in in various places in the world the energetic vortexes you know are in machu picchu Ayers Rock in Australia, Stonehenge, um, and, and Sedona. And, you know, we chose Sedona because the energy in that vortex can be so powerful. I've been there, and that actually was when I started my spiritual awakening. I went there, and there's just something about the power in the energy that, you know, I actually felt this. You can feel the the energy in the, in the earth. Um, and when, when you feel this powerful energy, you're actually more likely to take powerful steps in, you know, your inspired action, you know, in your spiritual awakening. Um, and you actually, because you're, you're amazing no matter what people, I know there's men and women in here, um, you, you all have this first access to the few spots. I'm very happy to say we only have a few spots left because most of my 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 no matter what women that work with me have filled some of them um but we, you know we're doing this for a three-day experience um and we're calling it your magnetic life and what that is it's, I'm, i i just get kind of excited about this is you get transformation i'm going to teach you how to start clearing out this transformational clearing with me Nina will be cooking um, all of her chakra healing foods, um, all the meals, and then Julie will be opening um, you to your highest frequency. Um, and we've we've rented this beautiful home in this. Actually, it's in the center of of actually one of the vortexes in Sedona, in the middle of of Sedona. It's going to be a very very intimate um, gathering. Um, I really. The way you know my frequency works better when it's more of a, a small. I, I like small, intimate gatherings. So there's 12 spots, and like I said, half have been filled already, um, which I'm very happy to say. Um, so it's all inclusive. It's accommodations, meals, um, and it's kind of like an exclusive pampering for your mind, body, and spirit. Unlike mine, when I was in my um, my my retreat, which was a sink, a bowl, a toilet. A, a bed, um, no Wi-Fi, <laughs> no Wi-Fi, and you know those of you who want to manifest more, um, we're actually for everybody joining here, and I know that there's going to be a, 
people that I will be emailing it to. Um, but we're offering at, right at this moment, this pre-retreat program. Um, it's kind of like a special bonus for all of you, no matter what people that showed up tonight. Um, and if this sounds like something that you'd like to experience more, you know, and if you make a deposit and secure your spot by, I think by the 31st of October, you will receive a, this pre-retreat program that we've put together, which is one hour transformational session with me. And Julie has these amazing recorded sound elixirs that you will receive. And then, um, um, what's her name, uh, Nina over here, will personalize a chakra menu, a healing menu for you, because we will have figured out if, you know, what chakra needs to be healed. Um, this is actually, we've done this before, and it's actually a $900 value, and we're actually going to give it to you for free, uh, obviously, with your deposit. And, you know, anyone who has already committed to, I know who you are, um, who, who's already committed major deposit, you will also receive that as well. Um, and let me, um, and the, the link, and I thought I had it here, but it wasn't. So it, it, I'm going to put, put the link in the comments, but it's just, it's, it's Sarah V. And now it's not working. Um, you're, oh, you're where, typing oh because I'm typing, because I'm using the wrong computer. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's it's Sarah V, Sarah and then V, V I E dot com um, forward slash um, your magnetic life. And I have that in the chat, but it's somehow disappeared. Magnetic life. So this is the, um, that is, that's the link. Um, but yeah, so this is, um, no, I've lost my spot here. Okay, so you know this is this is what um, we're offering just for for just for tonight and the thirty first. You will you will receive this um, pre retreat program, and you know after the thirty first, um, the retreat actually goes back up to its normal pricing of four thousand dollars, and rather than what we're offering to it now, which is two 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 two, we've been really studying angel numbers. Um, and this is um, just an offer that we're actually offering to you all. But you, I know that there are those of you who have already made your deposit. Um, but before we wrap up here, I know we're a little bit over. I just wanted to recap because I know it was a lot of information. Um, you know, like I said, we have five spots left, and all you need to do is pay your deposit of seven seventy seven before October thirty first. And then the other portion is due just before the before December 31st, so you have plenty of time. And you know, again, it's your accommodations, all your meals. So that is one, two, three. So it's about six, six or seven meals, all um, cooked by our lovely um, hostess over here. <laughs> and you know, it's it's everything exclusive. We're all in one home. It's a very small, intimate gathering. Um, so, you know, that, that, that is our offer for tonight. And if anybody has any quick questions or they want to talk to us after this, you know, we're going to stay on about, you know, five minutes after we finish and wrap up here. Um, and I know I'm going to see my amazing, beautiful people that I coach um, already there. I know who you are. I'm so excited that I'm able to, to – I've done retreats here in Delaware. But there is there are no vortexes in Delaware, unfortunately. <laughs> um, you did it Peace Corps style. Oh yeah, completely. Okay, yeah. So before we wrap up here, I want to just kind of pull back a little bit, you know, because remembering Om is when you begin and also when you finish something. So you know, like I said, we are going to stay on um, after um, we wrap up, and whoever wants to go can go. Um, but if there's any questions, any comments you want to ask us, any other questions about sound or, or food or clearing, please stay on afterwards. But for, for everybody, I just want to conclude this workshop, first of all, by saying thank you so much for doing this, coming here. On, you know, I know everyone, but if it were me, I would be in bed by now. Um, but thank you so much. And this is such a passion to help people 
to really connect, you know, we're all making this circle back to who we truly are. And it has been my passion. I've written books about this. I've, I've coached, I would, I'm up to about a hundred, about a hundred clients I've had in the past um, four or five years. So it's, it's just amazing to me the transformation that people can make when they really believe in who they are, when they let go of all those stories, when they heal. And this is just, I, I, I can't stand it. I, I'm just so passionate about this. Um, and it really, really touches my heart to know that people are here um, believing in themselves and wanting to, you know, to live in their highest self. So thank you so much. And we're just going to conclude with three alms and then a we will be here to answer any questions afterwards. So thank you so much. And here's Julie doing an alm. And we can close our eyes um, and um, enchant our alms or however you want to do it. Thank you so much. And whoever wants, if you guys can all unmute and we can have a little chit chat if you want. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to release you from your muted jail. <laughs> okay, you're, so all, you're all out. You're out of jail, guys. Thank you, ladies. Thank you so much. You. They, are you, are you, you're coming from Honduras, right? Well, what time is it there? Um, it's 6.15. I'm earlier, I think, than you. What time is it for you? Um, 8.17. Yeah. So, yeah. so you're, where, what is the background there? Are you outside or is that? A, no, that no, this is a, a photograph from Ikea. I bought when we lived in Egypt. and I, was <laughs> I love that. Oh my God. That is so funny. I thought you were real. I thought you were, out, I thought you were outside. <laughs> That's so funny. I love that. I want one. I want one that, but I can't find a good screen. So yeah, beautiful. That's so what classic. Is I love it. Wait, I think I've unmuted everybody. Is everybody out of jail here? Um, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Sonia, okay, awesome. Oh my gosh, hi, Carolyn. I didn't see you. Hi, Helen. Hi. Yeah, so if there's any questions, um, oh, I don't think I, I let Wendy out. Wait, Wendy, did I? Um, yeah, I, I'm, um, yeah, there we go. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. so, hey, Sarah, I'm, oh, oh you're welcome oh you just got back from mexico brenda oh no were you, who was talking was that you mary jane no it was mary jane yeah i oh. was just saying i was gonna jump but um okay. you can go i'm curious sure. Sure to see what coming. everyone has to say yeah okay got it. <laughs> yeah yeah so especially my bestie down in the corner which one where mm, i'm not saying her name Okay. <laughs> she knows who she is. Uh, you know, you know. I can't wait. I know you guys are coming and I'm so excited. Um, so this is, this is a really intimate, um, cause that, that's how I roll. I really, you know, I was, I had this grandiose idea and I, you know, I got kind of caught up in, in the ego and I, I said, no, nope, I am making this absolutely as intimate as possible. Because I feel like, you know, there, there, when, when we're, when we feel connected and with people, I really feel like that energy can, you know, make us all, all, all flow even more. So uh, it's going to be, may I say Julie is coming. Who? Julie? Julie. Yeah. Oh, yes. All three of us are coming. Both Nina and Julie. Yeah. So we're, the, we're all, we're all coming. This is the whole thing is that we are offering this because it is, I'm mind, um, she's body and she is spirit. 
So it's yeah. the mind, body, spirit, you know, Charlie's angels. <laughs> I, I get a lot out of Julie's um, stuff. The, the, the feeling, yeah. I yeah. Mean, it's amazing. You know, I know that the, the, the audio doesn't really do justice to the sound. It is, it is amazing how- but Just with her massages and yeah. everything. She, um, yeah, thank you, Julie. Yeah, yeah. So if anybody, if no one has any questions, um, again, the, the deposit is 777 and then you um, just have to pay for it. You can pay me, you know, $5 a day or whatever. But it's, uh, it's a really amazing, and especially that the house is right in the center of, um, right in the center of, uh, of Sedona. So anyway, if anybody has any questions afterwards, you go to the think my mm -hmm. works. Tracy, yes? Yeah, I had a quick question. I won't be able to make it this time, but I it sounds like something I would love to do in yeah. the future. For accommodations, yeah. are you in your own space? So if I wanted to have quiet and do some writing in the evenings or something, are you in your own room or are you sharing accommodation? Uh, it, it depends who, the, the people who have booked already, you know, we're, we're splitting that out. There are there are ways to attend your own space, yes. Yeah, hold on, let me just read that. Um, so yes, so we're we're sorting all that out right now, um, but we'll we'll be doing this again. You know, this is this isn't going to be the first one, but it is going to be the first one mm -hmm. here in Sedona, Arizona. Yeah. Good. I'm glad it's the pampering one and not the Peace Corps style. You had the Peace Corps. Oh, thing oh that. that's what you meant. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> it was. It, I I and I have to tell this really funny story. So this is in my book actually, where. I, my spirit was calling me and I remember, you know, the, my healer gave me this address and I was driving down this dark, dark road um, to get to this healer's, I'd never, I'd, I'd met him, but I didn't really know who he is. I mean, you know, my part of my, was like, are you crazy? Like he could be like a, a murderer or something. And I was driving down this, <laughs> this road to myself or by myself to this person that I never met before. Right. So, no, thank um, you. I forgot. So, I'm not you, in jail anymore. No, you're not. You're, you can hear everything now. Um, but it was it was a really scary thing. But I I know that um, I was being called to get you know to take inspired action and to um, to do this really uncomfortable thing, and it changed everything. So. Um, we will, we will, what was said to her, great to be here in a room, it was really nice to have a spirit that I'll leave, but I look like nothing to be seen here. Okay, yeah, awesome, thank you. So we'll, we'll just, um, hop off here because, um, we can. And thank you again for, for coming and, um, we'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye guys, bye. Thank you.